Hello, my beautiful babies. This is a quick update on Dune Club. Number one item on the list, the Comic Book Girl 19 Dune Box is the pre-sales cutting off. So if you want to get one of these puppies, you got to order it like now, okay? You got to order it like it's like tomorrow night, midnight Pacific Standard Time. It's over, we're cutting it off and then we're fulfilling all of our orders and then shipping them out, hopefully by the end of April, beginning of June, if everything goes according to plan. Uh, but I will keep everyone who has ordered a Dune box updated on that as we go along. Uh, I'm so excited. Uh, there's so many people have gotten on this Dune hype train. I should call it the Dune hype worm, actually. We're on Shai Halud. We're going through the fucking desert of Arrakis together this summer. I'm so pumped. And I think that because we have so many people who are like super excited and interested in getting involved with this, that we'll have a lot more people who actually graduate. Okay, because I don't think that a lot of people are gonna be able to keep up, but like whatever, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. But I'm looking for my Fata Keen, okay? I'm looking for my Death Squad Commandos who are gonna go with me through the 12 weeks. We're gonna do this together. Uh, it's gonna be live on Twitch once a week, starting end of June, beginning of July. Again, it's all tentative. It depends on how the shipping thing goes. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna talk about it. It's gonna be a two hour show, live stream, and they will be cataloged. And in case you don't know, the Dune box includes a signed copy of the book that we will be using. There's also a bookmark with a cosplay of me as God Emperor Leto, uh, except I'm a chick. And then there's also a Spice Melange necklace. I've been wearing mine around, it's really hot. I also wore it as a bracelet the other day, it was great. There has been a lot of compliments on my necklace actually. Pretty hot, I really like it. And then we could all wear the same necklace, so it's like, you know, it's kind of a thing. Like we're wearing the same necklace, I don't know, reading the same book. It's very intimate. There's also an Atreides lapel pin, you know, so. That's, that's also coming. Uh, the first hour of the class is gonna be me going over, you know, what we've read. I'm gonna assign to you certain page numbers, all right? And then we're gonna talk about like some of my favorite passages, like the main things that happened, like all sorts of stuff. And the second hour is gonna open up to questions so you guys can ask me whatever you want on there. And we're gonna have more discussions about Dune. So yeah, it's gonna be amazing. It's like our summer, it's gonna be like fucking summer reading awesomeness, all right? Because you know what, honestly, I liked summer reading when I was a kid. I, a lot of, I know a lot of kids didn't like it, but like I was kind of into it. As long as the book was like fucking sick, I was like, yes, you know? Teacher, teacher. Yes, you. Can you tell me why Dune is such a significant book? Um, can I tell you why Dune is such and a significant book? what will it help book? me do if I read it? All right, there's a lot of things, okay? It's gonna help you do a lot of things, all right? One of the big reasons why I want to encourage everyone to read Dune with me this summer is because I think that this book is fucking mind-blowing amazing, all right? Like, I, I read it, and like every time I read it, and I've read this book more than once, okay? This will be like, I think, maybe my fourth time reading it. Uh, like, I find new things every time. It teaches me so much about religion and politics and economics, it just, Makes me, uh, you know, you're able to see through the matrix a little bit more Ooh. if you're Ooh. on this shit, okay? Because Frank Herbert was a fucking genius, okay? He's a fucking genius. I did a whole episode about him on Greater Creators. I fucking love this guy. Uh, he's so amazing. And not only that, like, this is the best selling science fiction novel of all fucking time, okay? And there's a reason for that, all right? The world building in this is amazing, okay? This is like the best, most complete, like, fictional worlds that like I've ever read. Like the fictional universe is just like so fucking real. Like it's amazing. Teacher, teacher. Yes, you. Uh, will I be able to understand our bullshit political system if I read Dune? Uh, you may be able to understand our bullshit political system if you read Dune a little bit better, okay? Because you know, here's another thing about Frank Herbert that a lot of people don't know, is that this guy was a reporter for longer than he was like a fiction writer, okay? Like this guy was like interviewing people and specifically, he used to write like speeches for like senators and shit. Like he was living in DC and like he saw how it all worked and he's like, yeah, I figured that shit out in two weeks. Okay, like, I don't know. He's got a lot of really cool ideas about politics, religion. There is a new adaptation coming out. Okay, there is a new adaptation of Dune. I don't know exactly what it's gonna look like. We don't know if it's gonna be movies or miniseries or a show or a combination of the three. I have no idea. But what I do know is that this book is so fucking amazing. Okay, it's alchemical. It's an alchemical masterwork. There's a reason that it's the number one best-selling science fiction novel of all times because it's really that fucking good. And so I want everyone, I wanna encourage everyone to read Dune now 
before the new shit comes out, which so far is looking really good. I love Villeneuve. He's supposed to be directing. There's like a really great uh, screenwriter attached. Like it's, it's looking good, but this is a wild fucking animal, okay? You can't, like this is really hard to adapt, all right? This is really fucking hard to adapt, okay? I ain't gonna lie. And so if we go ahead and read this now, then when the movie or the miniseries or whatever comes out, then we can all together go, yay, this is amazing and encourage everybody, or we can all shit on it together. So it'll be fun, you know, we'll like, all know for sure. yeah, we'll all know for sure. Okay. I mean, like, this is the reason why I made Epic History X-Men Volume 3, The Dark Phoenix Saga, because I knew Fox was going to try it again and they were going to fuck it up again. And I wanted everyone to see the real shit, you know, because I know that people, you know, weren't going to read the comics. So it's like, I want to prepare people. Teacher. Yes. Should I think that you should remind people about how great your Frank Herbert Greater Creators episode is and that it's available right now. <laughs> well, if you're in the U.S., you can check out my Frank Herbert episode on Greater Creators. Uh, the man behind the book is just as fascinating as the book itself. And here's a clip from it until they tell us to take it down. Set in a distant future, the sci-fi universe dreamed up by Herbert is one full of intrigue, spiritual mysteries, and a feudal political system run by aristocratic messiahs and monsters. The planet Arrakis, or Dune, is highly coveted as the source of the spice melange, the most expensive and coveted substance in the galaxy, which is only found on that one desert planet. What is the spice? That's it. We're gonna probably get in trouble for that. I don't know. Our Greater Creators episode on Frank Herbert is really good. I'm really proud of it. And it'll really get you hyped on Dune. Uh, Cause that guy was like, like I said, he's, he and himself is fascinating. Just as fascinating as his, book, as his books. But he's also very mysterious. It's another thing I like about him is like, he didn't do a ton of interviews. You know, there isn't a lot of stuff on him, you know? So it's like, it's very hard to find stuff about him. Uh, he researched Dune for like six years. <laughs> like six years, like this guy, Oh my God, like he's so amazing. He did six years of research and then started putting the first three books together in his mind uh, and then, you know, wrote the first one and then the second one and the third one. And then later he was like, oh, I still want to keep going. So then he wrote three other books. And there was a seventh book, but he died before he could finish the seventh book. Sucks. Do you have to buy the Dune box to be a part of Dune Club? No, you don't. Uh, all you need is this book, this mass market paper book. But the thing is, you won't get this sweet bookmark that has me as the god worm that I cosplayed a few years ago. Why? I don't know. I want to make people uncomfortable. And also, we're making these spice melange necklaces, and we're going to have a Atreides hawk lapel pin that you can put on your hat or your jacket or whatever. Uh, so you don't get all those awesome goodies if you don't get the Dune box. And, you know, you're not going to be able to get those at another time. So it's kind of like if you want them. You know, now's the time. And for those of you who have bought the Dune box, uh, I want to thank you because not only are you getting some sweet shit for yourself, but you're also helping to support Dune Club and the show and everything. I mean, all the money we make from this, all the profit goes back into our show. So, you know, that's the deal, you know? It's supporting art. Dune box not only supports your brain, it also supports this show and uh, supporting artists is always awesome. So independent, independent art, okay? I remember one of my relationships, I used to read a book with my boyfriend and it was like one of the most fun things I've ever done, okay? I just, I had so much fun reading a book with my boyfriend. It was so interesting about it and I just kinda wanna, I wanna do that with you guys. Like I think that I can continue to do that except with an audience. And I think it'll be even more fun because we're gonna have so many more opinions and it's just gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Like, it's gonna be pretty weird. I'm really excited about it. It's giving me life. Doom Club's giving me life. You know? Teacher. Yes. Can I snort the spice melange from the necklace? Can you snort the spice melange from the necklace? You could, but it wouldn't be good for you because it's, it's really just sand. It's not, it's just blue colored sand. Probably not, I mean, although it's not that much. I mean, you could pro you probably could do it. It would just make you sneeze a lot. I don't know, I've never snorted sand. I don't, I don't know how that works. <laughs> I think I snorted a pixie stick when I was a kid and that really, whew, that got me. Wait, wait, that was the original plan. It was to put pixie sticks in there. What happened with that? Um, well, sand, you know, doesn't 
you Why know. Why didn't we get pixie sticks? No, because pixie ski- sticks decay. This yeah, is. But, but people could have actually snorted it. But I, it's glued in. I don't want them to snort it. Okay, I want them to wear it. All right, <laughs> this is not for snorting. This is for wearing. Okay, <laughs> you fucking weirdos. God. I, I know you people in Florida. You, I'm watching you guys. <laughs> I want to snort it and get high and read the book. All right, you're not going to get high off of this. This is fake, okay? <laughs> There's things you can snort and get high off of. This is not one of them, okay? <laughs> like, oh, so it's not real spice melange? It's not, yeah. It's That's a fictional... I wish there was real spice melange because I would be trying to get my hands on that. But it's also, like, it would be so expensive. I, I'm too poor for that shit, but... It's only for the elites, you know? Alright, so if I graduate... It's only for the elites, just like Doom Club, okay? This is an elite book club this summer about elite motherfuckers. It's like a fucking humanist novel. It's gonna blow your fucking mind off. Uh, did I get the idea from my book club from Oprah Winfrey? Um, I mean, maybe subconsciously, but no, I just wanted to read Dune with everybody. And I mean, honestly, there's not, like, book clubs reading hardcore science fiction stuff that I see. I mean, maybe there is, but, you know, not like this. You know, this is a new thing. I don't see people doing what I'm doing here. This is a whole, this is a fucking experiment, okay? Not only are we reading Dune together, but we're doing experimental book club together as well. And if it goes well, hey, we might be reading Dune Messiah next. Or something else. Or maybe something else. I don't know. We'll see how everybody feels about it, you know? If... You graduate from the class and become one of my Fae de Keen, uh, you will become a mental assassin, okay? And you will be able to assassinate some fuckery all around you, okay? Like, that's the re- yeah. Oh. Yeah. You'll- because you'll see it, you know? Because this book, it talks a lot about expanded awarenesses. And I think that it also, in itself, is a drug. This book is a drug, and it will expand your awareness, okay? Like, it will- uh, if I can see more possible future timelines. Uh, the Yes, can I explain the Kwisatz Haderach concept? Okay, well in this book, you have Paul Atreides. He is the product of a down-low breeding program through the Bene Gesserit Society, which is a sisterhood. That's a whole other bag of cats. Uh, but yeah, he is the universe's super being, and he becomes a Kwisatz Haderach, which is someone who is the fulcrum of the universe. And what happens is that he can not only see into the future, he's prescient, and he can see all possible future timelines, but he can also speak to his genetic ancestors so he can look into the past as well as the future. So, I mean, if you have that much fucking knowledge... Like, you're going, you're, your decision-making will be able to affect the entire universe. And that's what happens. And it's fucking crazy. Teacher. Yes. And if I read the book, I'll become a Kwisatz Haderach? Reading this book, you will not become the Kwisatz Haderach. But you will become one step closer, okay? Because that's the thing. In order to get to that place where we create a super being, we have to evolve ourselves. And that's what this book... And that's what this book is all about. It's all about, like, what can humans do? Like, how can you be a better fucking crazier human? And then have a baby with another crazy human and have an even crazier baby, you know? Oh. <laughs> and then after, if we start thinking like that, and after thousands of years of doing that sort of shit, I mean, we're going to be, like, hard as fuck. Like, humanity could be way cooler. I think we use technology as a crutch. Uh, Frank Herbert thought that as well. And that's why there's not, like robots and shit in this book or aliens you know there's not none of that shit i mean there's there's like you know genetic experiments and weird shit like that i mean there's some weird stuff but because they got rid of computers and robots uh, yes in the dune novels they got rid of all thinking machines okay before the dune novel starts there was the butlerian jihad where they were like hey fuck thinking machines it was a huge revolution and uh computers were expunged from the universe, okay? Like, humans were like, nah, we're not doing this anymore. So, hence why they have to, you know, start doing spice and mutating themselves into fish creatures so that they can fold space and time in order to travel between planets. Uh, when can you expect your dune box? The dune boxes will be shipping tentatively by the end of April, beginning of June. So, uh, yeah, all my US peeps, you'll definitely be getting it 
beginning of June. International peeps, it might be a little bit later in June because it takes, you know, a little bit longer to ship to you guys. I realize that the fulfillment rate on the Dune boxes are a little bit slower than they would be, like, say, Amazon or whatever. But uh, that's because we are a very small company and we are doing this all ourselves. I'm going to have all these girls come over and help me make all these fucking necklaces. It's going to be really intense. Uh, I've been talking to some filament places to help me package all these up. So this is our passion project. This is a homegrown passion project. So you're going to order the Dune box and then you're going to have to wait hard. And then once you get the Dune box, you're going to start reading hard. Okay. So it's like, wait hard, read hard. It's going to be worth it. Should you read this specific copy of Dune for Dune Club? I would very much suggest it, okay? Because even if you can't afford the Dune box, uh, I still want you to be a part of Dune Club. And all you need to do is literally buy the mass market paperback. This one's like 890 something pages. Um, so it's that one. And the reason why I want you to read this specific one is because, fun fact, this book doesn't have chapters, okay? There's no chapters. You can't go like, oh, table of contents, chapter three. That's going to be on page whatever. It's not like that, okay? So what I have to do is assign you page numbers, and the specific page numbers that I assign specifically come from this book. Now, you can still figure it out. If you really want to do some other shit, try it. Are you, if you're that fucking hard and you can figure it out, then like, yeah, go for it. I'm so incredibly excited for Dune Club this summer. Uh, this is also, for me, it's going to be really interesting because this is kind of like my first class that I'm teaching. So I'm like teaching myself to teach a class during this. So like it's going to be like, it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah. So if you want to watch our Greater Creators episode on Frank Herbert, I highly recommend that if you're in the U.S. And also, again, if you want to get a Dune box and get one of these sweet spice melange necklaces and a pin and a bookmark and all that good stuff, order the Dune box so you don't have a lot of time left. Get on that hype train. The Dune worm is leaving the station, all right? Looking for my Fremen warriors. So I'm really excited about Dune Club. Uh, don't forget to order your Dune box. You got like a day left. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to be teaching myself to teach a class this summer, reading a book intimately with you guys. It's going to be live. Long live the motherfucking readers. You know what I'm saying? Doom Club. Doom Club.